So many of you guys are just getting into raising chickens. Uh, maybe some of you guys have watched our beginner's guide to uh, raising backyard chickens. Um, maybe you have your flock of laying hens and you have a rooster and you're on the path to self-sustainability like we are where you want to have a self-maintaining flock. The question becomes, what the heck do you do with all the roosters? I'm gonna share with you what we do here. All right, so let's talk about three different options for dealing with extra roosters. Whenever you're raising out chicks, you're gonna have about a 50% hatch rate of roosters to hens. Now hens are easy to deal with. You can have them for laying hens or you can they, they sell pretty well. But roosters tend to be hard to get rid of. So the first option is to raise them up for your own consumption. This is something that we've done ourselves. We have raised up roosters and called them off and consumed them ourselves. Um, the downside to that is you can't have raised too many roosters without having a separate penned in area. Otherwise, there's a whole lot of fighting. Uh, the second is that you have to raise them for about 12 months before they are of a decent size to have a nice meal. These guys behind me are about 11 weeks and till they're dressed down, it would probably only feed Olaria. And then the third part is that whenever you raise up a rooster, they about to about a year old uh, they do have really good flavor but you do have to cook them for a long time so either pressure cook them or can them you can't just throw them in the oven um, or they're gonna be pretty pretty uh, tough so what are some other options if you don't have the ability to raise them up for your own consumption or if you don't want to do that well the second option is to sell them direct um, this is something that we've done fairly recently. We posted ads on like Craigslist and some of the local newspapers and we sold a bunch of laying hens and only a couple cockerels. Not too many people, like I said, really want to buy cockerels. And finally, the third way is something that we're fairly new to, which is auctions. This is a great way to get rid of livestock that uh, you don't want or you can't sell direct. These guys are going to go to auction tonight. Now, why am I choosing to send these to auctions? One, I want to know what the market rate is for these guys. And two, I don't have the uh, separate fenced in area, like I said, to raise these guys up for our own consumption. And three, I haven't been able to sell these guys direct. So what I'm going to do with these roosters is I'm going to box them up and we're going to take them to auction tonight. So for those of you guys that are new to auctions, let's talk a little bit about uh, what to expect. Now, livestock auctions are typically in rural areas. Uh, you're probably not going to find them in urban or suburban areas so you're probably going to have to try travel to some rural county and once you get there there are they're typically found in most towns uh, usually throughout the summers they usually have them once a week um, you just have to search in the newspaper and find out where your local livestock auctions are when you get there you're going to have to register typically you have to bring your driver's license and secure yourself uh, an auction number this allows you to both purchase and sell the livestock and then you need to find out uh, some of the selling rules. So for selling poultry at the auction that we're going to, we can't just throw them in a cardboard box and bring them in. They have to be in a more secured box such as this uh, fruit crate. Uh, they do sell fruit crates at our auction um, for a dollar a piece. Um, I got this one from a neighbor who just so happened to have a bunch of them. But this is what we're going to put, put our cockerels in. And we just lined it with hay and then we're gonna bring them into the auction. Now, the other thing you need to know is how much the auctioneer takes for uh, selling your, your livestock. Um, at the auction that we go to, uh, they do a flat rate for animals such as goats and uh, pigs and uh, any of the larger animals. But for poultry, ducks, geese, chickens, that kind of thing, they typically do about a 20% fee for selling it. So you need to consider that whenever going in. These guys, like I said, are about 11 weeks old. What really sells well at auctions are bigger birds. Full-sized, if you're gonna sell roosters, full-sized cockerels tend to sell the best. Uh, the reason for that is most livestock that's brought to auctions, uh, when it's purchased, it's purchased typically for consumption purposes. So people who are buying them want to consume them as soon as they get them home or within you know the next week, month or so. So uh, selling bigger animals, tends to bring in more money. I will probably be lucky to get about five to eight dollars out of these guys. So obviously the better options here for selling live or the, the better option here for dealing with roosters is for your own consumption or for selling direct. Which brings me to the last point where auctions are typically um, a last resort for offloading some sort of livestock. So just keep that in mind whenever uh, you, you go to an auction and especially if you are considering purchasing uh, uh, anything there at an auction. It's typically 
you, you know, buyer beware for whatever, whatever you do purchase at an auction. So the other thing with auctions is when you do drop off your livestock, certain type of auctions will allow you to just drop them off and leave. They have your uh, driver's license on file so they know, um, you know how much money that they owe you. The downside is, is sometimes people lose track of how much money your item sold for. So it's better that you sit there through the whole auction and you keep track of what that item sold for so that you can make sure that you collect the appropriate amount from the auctioneer. So the other benefit of sitting there at an auction and not just dropping your, your livestock off and walking away is that you can do a no-sale. A no-sale is where uh, if your livestock comes up for bid and say it, uh, people only bid like a dollar for, for each of your cocks and you don't want to sell them that low, you can always do a no-sale where you end up taking it back home with you. So these are just different options for you guys. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are just getting into chickens and maybe wonder what the heck do I do with all these roosters? Uh, maybe you've even gone on Craigslist and saw people giving them away. Uh, obviously you can do that as well. Um, but the better option here is to try and make a few bucks off of it because those few dollars can go towards feed or uh, medicine or anything else for raising and continuing to raise your livestock. sold for about eight dollars and fifty cents each uh, till they take their commission out that's about six dollars and eighty cents um, like I said you don't make a whole lot of money when you take things to auction typically especially if it's a juvenile such as uh, an 11 week old cockerel but it is a way to offload livestock so you don't have to continue to pay feed for something so that's what we did and that was our uh, that was our final tally for our silver gray dorking 11 week old roosters.